Hey guys, how's it going? Well, today we have a treat for you guys. As you may recall in our last video, we went out on a limb to say that we believed that we were starting a short-term dimming event based on two different data sources. Well, Tabby Star did not disappoint us this time. As a matter of fact, it looks like it's in free fall. So what we'll do is we're going to go over a light curve of Tabby Star that was updated today, September 8th, and we will say it's official. We are in a severe short-term dimming event. And it looks like it may become deeper than the three previous short-term dimming events that happened this year. And as we mentioned, the, the slope is currently in free fall and has not bounced off a bottom yet. So this is today's updated light curve of Tabby Star from Tabby's team, taken in the R band and at two different sites, one in Spain and one in Hawaii. And here is the current flux level of Tabby Star, highlighted and circled in red. And it seems amazing, but in just two and a half days, the flux is down approximately 1.75% and looks to be steeply heading down even further. You know, could this be the record dimming that we have been waiting for? Just think of the massive size of what is blocking the light. It is equivalent to the light blocking capability of three Jupiters. It's massive, guys, and it's moving fast. So guys, we will update you as this new dimming event progresses. So guys, we want to mention just one more time that the funding for telescope time to continue observing Tabby Star is running out. Tabby has started a crowdfunding effort to keep the light uh, curves coming. And I fixed our link uh, to her fundraising event and it's in the description box directly below this video. So let's do a surge on this and keep this going. Well, guys, I will be back soon to update you further. Take care and see you in our next video.